here we have a question for evaluating limit to see if it exists or not and if it exists we are to evaluate it so the first thing we do is try to see if when we plug it in if it works it's a linear function down here it's a exponential function with a little bit of transformation if you look at it that way as a whole obvious it's a rational function so when you plug in this value then it becomes 25 minus 25 which is 0 and then in the bottom you have 2 minus 2 which is 0 so that is not good so we are supposed to look at it in another way try to see if we can manipulate it algebraically or do something so it's kind of hard because x is in the power and there's really nothing we can do with this. So the next thing you want to think of is the definition of derivative. That's easier to work with. So definition of derivative has its form, which you already know where h approaches 0. In this case, it's not approaching 0, but 2. That's another way of looking at it. We can say limit as x approaches a, where the function is going to be x, and then a, this will be x minus a. So that is the definition of derivative, as we all know. And therefore, this is set to be equal to f derivative at a. So this is another way of looking at it in addition to what we know as limit h approaches 0 f at x plus h minus f at x over h. They're the same thing. It's a different way of looking at it. If we have a graph and we've got a function that looks like this and we are to chop them apart, and then call this x and the distance h, then this is going to be x plus h. So by applying limit, the second one is saying that it's getting closer and closer so that h is getting smaller and smaller. So this is going to get closer and closer to here so that ultimately we can find a tangent at this point. Obviously we can't cut through, so it's got to be like, like this. So this is what we want to find. That's the second way of looking at it. The first way of looking at it is exactly the same thing. Instead, we are saying that this value is a, and this is going to be x, and it's just getting closer and closer to a. That's what the first one is talking about. So essentially, with the graph, you can see that it's the same thing. These two are equal to each other. So here, we can see that the function is actually, if we break it apart, f at 2 since x approaching 2 so that is going to be a f at 2 looks like it's 25 then f at x looks like it's 5 to the power of x then here we've got x here and a is equal to 2 so everything makes sense then given this function taking off from here we can simply take the derivative of this which is derivative of all exponential function, which is 5 to the power of x times ln 5. That's the form for derivative of exponential function when the base is not a natural number, that is e. If it is natural number, then ln e is just equal to 1. That is why it's just itself as an e to the power of x. So they are the same thing whether you've got base e, ln e just doesn't show because it's 1, but any other number it's going to show because ln anything other than e is not equal to 1. So then, we need to evaluate this where x is approaching 2. So we need to insert 2 into where x is. So now we have f derivative 2 is going to be wherever x is we plug in 2. So 5 to the power of 2 ln 5, which is equal to 25 times ln 5. That will be our evaluation of this limit expression that's given to us. So everything else fails then analyze the form and you can see two things in the top, two things in the bottom subtracted by each other then you can quickly recall definition of derivative because what else can it be and then you can proceed by picking up the function taking its simple derivative then plugging in the value where it's approaching then you can evaluate the limit